There we go. Good afternoon, y'all. Prophet David Taylor here with your weekly live prophetic word. Uh, remember that I'm on every Sunday, this time, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm also on the second Thursday of each month. I'm on uh, Thursday nights at 7 o'clock for No More Genies. Okay? So let's dive right into this week's prophetic word. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you just thanking you for this day. Thank you for another opportunity to drink at your fountain and eat the heavenly bread. Uh, please fill me with the Holy Ghost. Speak through my mind, my heart, my mouth, my tongue, my teeth, my lips, my hands, gestures. Oh God, be in the midst of everything uh, that's done right now so your word can come forth and bless and edify your saints and that you might get the glory in all things. I thank you for it and I believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, amen, amen. <clears throat> Today's prophetic word, well, I'm going to release the prophetic word, and then we're going to look at the scripture reference slash foundation. So here's the word that the Holy Ghost gave me this morning. For behold, my people, I have brought you unto Zion. I have brought you unto the, sit, the heavenly city. But I have also brought you unto 2020, the year of perfect clarity and perfect vision. But it's not just a year of clarity and vision. It's also the year of fullness. I'm ready to breathe on you and release my fullness into your life. The fullness of my glory. The fullness of my love. The fullness of my financial plan. My prophetic plan. My health plan. And my relationship plan for you. Do, please do not miss me as I pass through 2020. For I'm reaching out to you to hand you the fullness Therefore, my people, I release unto you a spirit of fullness that you may know that you don't have to settle for three out of five. You don't have to settle for four out of seven, for I'm a God of a hundred. I'm a hundred percent. But I cannot just be resident in your life. I must be president in your life. So hear what I'm saying to you. Put me first and obey my word. And as you do so, your life will be filled with glory and joy. And people will walk up to you and ask you, why are you so happy? Why is your life so full? And you can open your mouth and say, because the Lord Jesus Christ is not just my Savior, he's also my Lord, the Lord of my joy, the Lord of my fullness, and the Lord of my 100%, says the Spirit of the living God. Amen and amen. So the Lord gave me that prophetic word this morning, and it blessed my soul, and I'm happy uh, to be able to share it here. And I'm receiving it, and I want to walk in it, and I want to do everything the Holy Ghost said do. I want to receive God's plan of fullness. I want to get my faith up to believe that I don't have to settle for three out of five. I don't have to settle for four out of seven. Because God, I knew someone was missing. I didn't turn the light on. Uh, God is a God of fullness. And not only is, a God, is he a God of fullness and 100%, but he wants to breathe that on me. So if he wants to breathe that on me, I'll take it. Okay? And God wants to make our lives so full of glory and joy until our light is shining in front of people and they want to know, where did you get all that joy? Okay? Because God wants to give us 100%. Now, if you're not sure what that means, what that means is that you don't have to... I like the way Marilyn Hickey says it. Uh, Dr. Reverend Marilyn Hickey says, Prophet as Marilyn Hickey says, it's not over until you win. I love that. She says, if you're a child of God, it doesn't matter what kind of faith fight you in. It's not over till you win. And that's her attitude. And she's talked about fights she's been in where she's won in a day. She's won in a week. And then she talks about some fights she had to fight for years. But her attitude is it's not over till she wins because she's supposed to win. Because she's an obedient child of God. I'm with that. I think that's beautiful. So, so it means that if God promised you five things and you've got three so far, you don't have to say, well, thank you, Lord. I mean, you should praise the Lord, but you don't have to say, thank you, Lord. At least I got three. You ought to believe God for that full five. If God promised you seven things and you only have four, you should thank the Lord for the four you have, but you shouldn't just say, well, that's good enough. Well, that's false humility. No, well, I should be grateful. Well, other people don't have anything. All oh, that's true. But if God promised you seven, God is a God of 100%. He can come through on everything that he said. And it also means that there's no area of your life where God doesn't want to give you victory. Diet, relationships, career, money, your spiritual life, 
whatever it is you're doing, God has a full plan because this is the year of fullness. 2020 is the year of fullness. But I remember also when the Lord gave it to me, he said, hear me, don't miss me. See, I know what that means. What that means is that, see, when the Lord is passing through, it's just like when he walked to earth as a man. There were a lot of people in Jerusalem and Nazareth and Galilee and Samaria and every place that the Lord ministered when he walked to earth as a man. But not everybody got a miracle. Not everybody got deliverance. Not everybody, everybody got what they needed. Do you know why? Because they missed the Lord when he was walking through. They didn't know who Jesus was or they didn't respect who he was or they didn't make it their business to get to him while he was there. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. So when God opens his hand to you and offers you something, the time to take it is now. Not five minutes from now, not five days from now, not five months from now. Now, if the Lord releases a word and says, I'm reaching out my hand to you to give you the fullness, if that's what God's saying, the Lord also said, don't miss it. Don't miss me. Because you can miss God. I, I need to do a series on that about how you can miss God because it's all in the Bible I just know people don't talk about it so much because we traded in just about every message for the prosperity message. Seriously, but you can miss God. You can actually miss God with your whole life. So I need to do a series on that because I need to teach believers on how people miss God so we avoid them traps. So if the Lord says I'm coming through with the fullness, that means it's time to get it now with no more delay. Now let's look at the scripture reference for this. Scripture reference is Psalm chapter 16, verse 11. Psalm chapter 16, verse 11. Okay? In the New International Version, it says, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. I wrote a hymn on this, by the way. I can't wait to release it. Um, King James Version. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Berean Study Bible. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Oh, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Let's get behind the language. Okay, when we look into the Hebrew. Uh, when it says, you have made known to me, you have made me to know, okay, the road of life. It means, the word life means kaim, out of the Hebrew. It means alive, raw, fresh, and strong life. So not dull, dead, and old. Alive, raw, fresh, and strong. Then it says, you will fill me, out of the Hebrew, that word means satisfaction, with joy, and that word means glean in your presence. That word there in your presence in Hebrew means in your face. It means you will fill me with joy in the face of God. So when it says in your presence, that means you've got a face-to-face -face relationship with God. That's why God says seek his face. What that means in practical terms is get to know God as a person. Spend time with him. Get to know him personally so you know his voice for yourself. That's what that means. So you have your own relationship with God. So you're not trying to do like so many other people and have your relationship with God through the preacher. So you know the Lord for yourself. So in case your pastor, your apostle, your prophet, your evangelist is out of town and you need a word, you can go to the Lord for yourself. That's what happens when you seek God's face, when you want to get to know him as opposed to seeking God's hand, which is what a lot of people do. Just God, give me, give me stuff. Give me, give me. Well, that's just seeking his hand. That's like having a teenager that walks in your house and asks for the car keys. Don't say hi. Don't say how you doing. Don't have no kindness for you. Just give me the keys. That's seeking his hand like he's a genie. God wants to seek his face. He wants us to seek his face. A face-to-face -face relationship. Don't you hate it when you're talking to somebody and they won't look you in the face. They won't look you in the eyes. They're looking everywhere else but at you. Isn't that annoying? Same way God feels when you don't seek his face. When you don't want to know him. You just want things from him. That would get on your nerves too. Okay? So it says, you will fill me with joy in your face. Seeking the face of God. Remember, this is coming out of Hebrew. With eternal. Eternal means imminent, enduring, everlasting, or in perpetuity. Eternal pleasures. Pleasant or delightful. My pastor preached this morning about how when the Lord comes in your life, there's a good scent. Because you don't need to be calling yourself saved and you funky. <laughs> either in attitude or in body. 
at your right hand, the right hand, the right side of God. So God basically says that he's going to let us know how to get on the path of life, and we're going to be filled with alive, raw, fresh, strong joy as we seek his face with eternal pleasures, with pleasures that won't go away. If that's what God is offering, I'm taking it. I don't know about you, but I'm taking it. Okay, because that's what 2020 is for. Now you need to understand that if you don't take it, while it's coming down the pipe, who knows when it's going to come again? What do you mean by that, Prophet Taylor? I mean, for example, the summer of 2015 was spouse season. And it was the summer for a lot of people to get their spouses. And I also know some people that got married in 2015. I also know some people that wish they had somebody and still by themselves because they missed it. They missed spouse season because there's no telling when spouse season is coming, but when God moves, you've got to be ready. That means you've got to be prepared to receive that person in your life. And a lot of people just weren't. That's what I mean, that you can miss God. God can be coming through your town, your family, your church with a blessing. But only some people going to catch it because only some people are ready and believe him and obey him. And some people are like, la, 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 off on their own thing. And they completely miss the Lord. I see it every Sunday. I see it every Sunday. I see blessings being released. Some people catch them and some people don't. Some people are there to see God. Some people just play in church. Some people are there to hear from the Lord. Some people are there to hear from everybody but the Lord. Okay. So that's the message, that's the prophetic message this week, that 2020 is the year of fullness, and God wants to give us his fullness, okay, his full plan in every area of our lives to make our lives full of joy with eternal pleasures, pleasures that won't go away as we stay in his face. If you don't want to receive that, if you don't want to catch that, okay, I'm going to catch it, I'm going to go with it, all right, amen and amen. All right, uh, if you have any prayer requests, put them on the screen. And I also am going to pray in tongues and ask the Holy Ghost if there is anything else he wants me to release. Okay, the word that came to me was river. I saw a river, but it was like Niagara Falls, pouring down. So what that means is refreshing, that means nourishment, but that also means overflow. So that means that God is releasing an overflow of blessings. He's releasing the blessings to refresh us and to nourish us, and I will take that too. And that makes sense if the prophetic word is fullness, okay? Because God always sends the rain from heaven, and the rain is always a sign of God blessing your harvest, God blessing your crops, God blessing what you're doing so that it can grow and become fruitful. Amen and amen. All right, that's it for this week. I know a quick prophetic word, but that's what I got this week, so that's what I'm going to give you. Um, remember that my prophetic devotional is out. I uh, had to... Uh, 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 put some more out. Uh, I had to order some more, but my prophetic devotional is now available where you can chronicle your prophetic walk with God by studying a prophetic scripture every day, writing down what the Holy Ghost has to say to you about it, and then going back to a journal style later to see when it came to pass. Also, uh, I put a new music instrument track up on this page. I'm going to start regular music releases, and I will let you know uh, because my music ministry, again, is coming back to the forefront, as I've told you many times. Okay? All right, amen and amen. God bless you. I hope you have a good week. I hope for the rest of the day you're meditating on the fullness of God, that you receive it while God is offering it. And I will be back on my regular time next Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you didn't catch No More Genies last Thursday, the uh, replay is up there on YouTube, so you can check it out. And uh, thank you so much. If you want to support my ministry, my Zell is Prophet David Taylor at gmail.com, and if you want to uh, support my music ministry, that's on Patreon, patreon.com slash Shades of the Cross. Patreon.com slash Shades of the Cross. Now, on my Facebook page, I always put all the links to everything I'm talking about, so that will be down in the comment section. All right? Amen and amen. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I will see you next time. And remember, it's time to get the fullness. 
from the Lord.